Kyiv forces have withdrawn from Vuhledar in the Donetsk region, Ukrainian military command confirmed on Wednesday. Having advanced from west, south and northeast, Russian soldiers were geolocated, planting Russian flags and freely operating in various parts of Vuhledar. Vuhledar's strategic importance is in its location. The town sits on higher ground between the two fronts, eastern and southern. To the south, Vuhledar was the last fortified town before the village of Velika Novosilka and the entire southern part of Donetsk region that Ukraine controls. The town is roughly 40 kilometers east of the administrative border with Zaporizhia region. Controlling Vuhledar would also help Russian forces improve their railways or logistics, which might help them advance further. 50 kilometers north from Vuhledar is Russia's primary target, the town of Pokrovsk. Although threatening to Pokrovsk thousand flank, Russian forces would need to maneuver across open terrain to meaningfully support offensive operations southeast of Pokrovsk. The Institute for the Study of War said it is unclear if Russian forces will make rapid gains beyond Vuhledar in the immediate future. Now, advancing across an open field area during the upcoming muddy season would be complicated for Russian forces. It is possible that Ukrainian military command factored the weather aspect in when deciding to withdraw its forces from Vuhledar. And whilst it won't be an issue for Russian forces to take the full control of the town now, the muddy roads and fields will be almost unusable for mechanized assaults should Russian forces decide to advance further. They might decide to wait for the ground to freeze before considering the next steps, which would happen in about a month in southern part of Ukraine's Donetsk region.